This is gonna be a shit show. Yeah. All right. This time I'll probably stick with the sticks a little bit just because I have no idea what I'm doing. I suspect it's just going to be a lot of pour it on, let it drizzle, pour it on, let it drizzle kind of action. Like I said, very much experiments tonight. Here we go. It's a me. So far, it looks like the plan for the cup to keep things from, uh, pooling up in the base of the vase is working out, so. Go seal team cup or something? I'm not really sure. You guys are seeing the other side that I'm not even seeing. I'm like, Duh. Yeah, see, this side's got more coming off of it over here. Let me, like, help things along over y'all. Oh, I see. So I do this, and it pushes stuff off, and I find the spitty spots that sickety suck. Like y'all. So basically right now I'm just kind of like making sure all these bald spots that aren't getting any paint coming down them can get some. So get some! They freaking do something. Suck less, nerd. <laughs> Boop. I'm a helper. So I'm kind of just doing a random orange pattern up in here. A little bit. Like, y'all. Drop some more blue like a friggin' hit record. So I suspect I'm gonna end up doing something like this. Bloop. Bloop. I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of guessing right now. I hope it at least looks kind of cool. I can't really see the angle you guys see. Oh, it looks like a globe. That's funny. Alright. Alright. Uh... It actually, like, the green is going down the side, which I know you can't really see right now.
Is that a little greener? Have I gone too far? Yeah, it really does look like the globe. It's really funny. And the orange just keeps getting shoved around. It's really like it makes it and then it gets shoved down. So I might have to do this at the very, very end in order to get any to stick at all. So it's almost all the way down the entire body of it. It's just the the neck of it that's not covered right now. So I'm going to see if I could cheat and help it along a little bit because it's like surface tension problems, basically. Just like I get on canvases where it's just like, I don't want to go there. And I'm like, shut it. You're going there. And it's all like, but mom. I'm all like, shut it. Apparently I did not stir the green enough because there's green globs going down the side here that I'm going to have to freaking smack into oblivion. Jesus fuck. That's a nice big bald spot over here. I'm going to have to rotate this towards me like... That side's all good. This side is very much not. So I'm just pulling stuff off of the board down here just to And then I'm going to have to like pop some of these green glues off That's the one thing that I don't really like about the acrylic paints from Michaels, which is what that Artist Loft brand is. Um, it fucking globs all the time. It's disgusting. Right. So there's like some ridges here and there from where um, I did the gesso earlier gesso will somebody look up how to pronounce that damned word <laughs> g-e-s-s-o so it looks like little cracks almost but it's weird because it's like i poke at them and they go away so i don't get it maybe i didn't let it dry enough I left it for like two hours, which is mind fucking, but okay. So I'm just kind of getting, there's these little globs of green that I'm just like, oh, stop it. Which I guess we're, <laughs> if we're going with the, uh, Earth from space analogy, or islands. Oh, like random ass bald spots here and there. Just like, stop it. Gesso, thank you. You earn ten cool points. And a cookie. Type of cookie to be determined. But yeah, you can see the little ridgy things up here and the paint blob. Like, I don't know what's causing these. 
I guess the gesso isn't completely dry underneath, so it's just fucking with it. Les mou. So, I'm gonna do orange in here now. So it's probably going to crack and dry and look like garbage, but I'll have to, it's, you know, <laughs> me learning how to do a thing, so. Pretty par for the friggin' course, you know. First learning, it looks like trash. Let that run down. Burp. It's always funny how, like, certain edges seem to, like, flow off a little better than the others on this thing. I suspect it's probably because... I get, I get the desk as level as I can, but there's just so much you can do, and then it's just gonna be like, nope, I don't wanna. Yes, push the green down, Mr. Orange. <laughs> well, you told me you only wanted hints of the orange. Do you want more orange? Are you backseat painting? I will- I will turn this vase around again to look at the other side. Sir. Sir! And that's the one thing that's, like, the hardest with painting like this. You just have to fucking not go <laughs> with your ADHD because you'll just freaking be like <laughs> so like you've got a smattering of it over here a little more than I was intending because I just dribbled all over the side over here uh like a toddler so my bad uh yeah I think so Yeah, this the the gesso on this cracked like a beast. I don't know if you can see it. I can't really hold it up in any meaningful way for you to see. I'm just doing a couple of bits and bobs uh, of the orange a little brighter. It fades a little bit as it goes down, which isn't horrible. I'm just trying to see what happens if I put it on on top of everything again. But that being said, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe the maybe I need to let it dry even longer than I did. I'm very confused. I would unmount that and drag it around, but it's kind of hard. But what confuses me even more is where did that popsicle stick go? <laughs> I lose crap all the time. Whatever. They cost about a quarter a piece. What? They're not even. 
But if I poke at these ridges, like you could see this ridge right here on the top, if I poke at it, it goes away. See? It's like, what in the ever loving crap is that? Like, is it just the paint causing a ridge or something? Um, they, I don't think they did because I thought that you, if you put a male turkey and a female turkey together, they, it worked like any other. Animal breeding in the game. Sorry, I got a little focus mode here. <laughs> Additional things I never want to see in a video game. Turkeys bumping uglies. Yeah, I don't know. This is really odd. But I think that's exactly what's happening. Hmm. So, I think, as opposed to just, like, um... I think it's surface touch dry. It needs to be like super turbo mega. I I dried for a bajillion years dry. So if I keep pouring on it, it just keeps um, creating new. Bibbity bumps. See? So I think it's pushing the underlying crap around. Which may not be entirely inaccurate. I need I need to speak. Yep. Ah, oh, bitchin', it's the skin. Ooh. So it's getting the the underneath the, the gesso wet and it's pushing it around like a skin. So when I'm pushing on it, I'm flattening the skin back out. Yeah. I'm gonna keep poking at it now. So that's interesting. I don't know how she does this then because she must do it really quick and in a single go, um, because otherwise the gesso just re-wets and gets jiggy with it, apparently. Because it's all over the place. Although, to be fair, it's kind of an interesting effect and I should probably stop fucking with it and just let it go. Because it kind of looks crackly, which isn't terrible, but it's kind of funky. Also, look at all of the skins I'm going to have for doing necklaces after this. <laughs> this is all going to dry and I can use it. Uh, I'm going to have to unhook it, so it's going to be very unsteady, okay? Just as a warning. This may be vomit-inducing, I've warned you. So, here on the sides, it's got all these, like, bumps and cracks and shit. Here, hang on a second. I have a can of, uh... See? So you see here, all these bumps and shit. Tell me if this is in focus or not, because my monitor for looking at this is over there, and I can't see shit.
So it kind of looks cool from a perspective of that, but you can see what's happening. Like this is literally the base coat that the white base coat you saw earlier, um, just getting all shoved around. Like if I when I poked it with a toothpick, it just wiggled, and I could literally have put the toothpick underneath it and taken it off. I could have taken this. I could probably take this entire skin off later if I wanted to. But I won't, because that defeats the purpose. So this side, you can see where I've been poking a little bit more, and I flatten things out a little bit. But even still, as it continues to drip, it's shoving it around. But this is why I was putting the orange on at the end, so you can actually see it a little bit more, because otherwise it gets obfuscated. And that's your vocabulary word for today. But yeah. Hang on, I'm putting you back up top! If I could find the hole, giggity! Hang on a minute. Ugh. I'm turning the screw backwards, so it's a little confusing for my brain right now. I am gonna kick your ass, camera. Cut that out. There we go. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, the cracks actually don't look terrible. Kinda works out. Kinda. Plus, all this stuff underneath is going to be funky for using for your, like, necklaces and shit. I'm going to patch in some of these holes over here in the corner, though. Bloop! Bloop, bloop! But that's why I wanted to do the other one while these were, like, settling, because I knew this one was going to be... Mm. Sorry, I was just checking what the camera could and couldn't see over there. Do I need a step stool? No. It was just because... I was turning a screw against something that was also moving at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a kind of a cool effect. The stuff on the, stop, on the top is still kind of a little bit bleeding down, um, but not too, too bad. This is, I do this a lot on the paintings too, where you have to kind of like pull all along the edge to get rid of the drips. But it's funny because I could feel the gesso pulling, and you could see it here too. See the stringy bit? That's the gesso pulling. Yep. So. Achievement unlocked. Whoopsie doodles. I unlock that achievement a lot. I suspect I have to do the edge clean up a little bit later, but yeah, I'm not really sure how to get around this. Well, I had to think about what was left and what was right energy, because I'm already dyslexic. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck! <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's it's funky. There's a couple of crickety cracks all over the place, so, I don't know. I'll leave it be. If I wear a condom, then I don't have to screw backwards. That is a good point. That is a very good point. 
Valid. I am legitimately like, huh. I've never seen Gesso do that before. But to be fair, usually I'll paint it and leave it because I'm gonna move on to something else. So maybe legitimately it just needed more time to dry. But it does in fact support the theory that if you put something that this stuff can at least glom onto, it's good. I was semi-joking with people that I know that they should save all of their wine bottles for me to practice on because I know people who drink a lot of wine. Huh. And this is going to make interesting fodder for necklaces and shit. What time is it, too? So, now I have all this random paint over here. I have no idea what to do with it all. What do I have over here? So I have a bunch of random six by sixes. Hmm. Uh. Four by fours. These are usually my test bitches. Ooh. All right. So I bought this the other day. It's got all the bits and bobs for being on a clock, but I'm gonna do this stuff on this, and I was thinking green and gold. What do you think? 